All right, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Sneaker Hen. As you can see, I'm driving. I am on my way to SneakerCon today. I'm super late because if you know me, I'm late everywhere. So we got Zeke behind the camera. He's with me today. We got my guy Chuck in the back seat, riding passenger. Um, I'm about to miss the road, but sit back, relax. Um, when we get to SneakerCon, guys, um, obviously, when we get to sneaker con, you'll see the footage. So let's see how today plays out. So how do you think it's gonna play out today? Based on like the pricing wise, like buying. I've never bought shoes in Miami, but because of January, I think it's gonna be high price. But you're, you're not in Miami. Yeah. Okay, we're in Fort Lauderdale. Okay. But anyway, guys, sneaker con, we're here today. We're excited. Um, I'm excited. Cause York is boring. I don't know if y'all know this, but York, it's very boring. So, sit back, get some snacks, and let's see what happened at Speaker Con for Lauderdale 2023. Uh, see you guys in 13 minutes. All right, you guys, uh, we are at Sneaker Con. It is not going very well because uh, I'm not really in the best of moods. My feet hurt. I don't want to be here. It's a lot of people. I don't really feel like walking around. I see a lot of the terrible outfits. My outfit's not the best, but it's just like uh, some of y'all, you're trying, you're trying to look cool, but you're doing way too much that it doesn't look cool. Um, but I don't know what to do. Oh, I ran into Rami the Icon. We took a pic. Picture popped up on the screen. Rami the Icon and Santiago. Shout out to Santiago. So obviously, if it's not for Santiago, y'all wouldn't be getting Cool Kicks content. That's the number one thing. The behind the scenes people is the most important people. That's why I fuck with Santiago. Um, but this guy almost got beat up earlier because for my he, phones. In he interrupted a deal. Um, he got uh, me for my phones. But, uh, I don't know. We gonna do some walking around? I don't know yet. I might just leave. We'll see. But. My guy Leroy told me he's looking for a pair of um, J Balvin 3s, so I need to gain some energy so I can try to find it for him because he's really he's a really cool guy. So Leroy, I'm going to try to find you those 3s. We're going to find them. And I just saw him in the What the fuck? Where did he go? Can't find him. All right, well. How much? Guys, Cam just bought his shoe. Size six, just picked this up for 180. Okay, but you know why, right? Why? Look at this fucking box, guys. Wait, 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 wait. GS why do you have this box? box? I don't know. This is a replacement box. No, it's not. The grade school comes in that. Really? It does. I haven't seen a, I've seen a grade, a grade school. I don't know until it comes in. I've had like 10 pairs of these. So you pay 180? Yeah. You gonna sell it for what? 280. All right. And you want to show the people this? Uh. No, not the not the shoes. Just guys. Uh, so Cam Cam got it. this bag, right? Cam got this bag right here. I'm Santa Claus today. Santa Claus. This shit is heavy. Yeah. Let me see if I can pick this up. Probably go ahead, not. go ahead, go ahead. I can pick this up. <laughs> How you pick it up? This strap? No, I don't pick it up. I just wheel it. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I can pick it up, but it's just you yeah. can't carry it. All right, you guys, now we gotta find Zeke. He just texted me that he wants to leave, so like, uh, I think Sigurdsson is gonna be a bust, but I have a better video I can film for y'all, so coming soon. Um, I did some shopping, as we can see. Well, Zeke did as well. And um, I wanna show y'all some of the stuff I got. So let's start over here. Oh, shout out to Chuck. Carnage Gaming and Kicks. Hey! We, we in uh, Miami right now. We got the Dolphins versus uh, Bills game on. Stop, you're right. It's not going to be copyrighted. I literally, when we went to the Lakers game, I vlogged it and it's on my YouTube channel. <laughs> All right, so the MP 11s is the hottest shoe right now. So is it really? Everybody keep calling the store asking for it. So we did some shopping. I got a couple GS sizes and one men's, uh, but I'm really trying to sell more clothing. So went to the vape store and um, where's my bag? Oh, I was right here. Went to the vape store. And first off, shout out to Denise from Babe Miami. She was so nice, cool, very patient with us. Um, so, got this gallery department hat. It's not gonna fit his head. It's not for me. 
I mean, I do want it, but I think somebody in the store might buy it, so we'll see. But then I bought all these teas because I'm trying to have more clothing in store. Clothing takes up way less space than shoes, and then when you're buying a shoe, you kind of want clothing to match it. So I just got like a couple random vape teas, nothing crazy. I really don't feel like taking this out. Um, but then I also bought like uh, some donks and stuff from uh, JD and all those stores. So yeah, guys, this trip was pretty cool. Um, got to hang out with my enemies. And um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys back at the store now. So boom. Stay tuned. If you need any of the clothing and shoes, you know where to go at theloopstore.com with a DA. Catch you guys soon. And yeah, Henry is giving us two thousand dollars for me to record this. So you know he's cashing out. I don't even have two thousand dollars. Pull up to your guy. I have six hundred and forty-eight dollars in my business bank account right now. I'm not giving you two thousand to record anything. Pull up to your guy, Riamal. Bring you a collection and all that. <laughs> You're going to bring your Air Jordans, Team Jordans, bring them all. See you guys soon. <laughs> Alright you guys, it's late at night. The Bills game is over. They won. Shout out to the Bills for being the Dolphins. But we have your favorite YouTuber here. <laughs> What's going on guys? Uh, I'm trying to be quiet. I got I got my girl sleeping next door. but uh, Next door? I next mean, door is a different house. <laughs> I mean, in the room over there. Okay, cool. And I, I look crazy right now. I'm all sweaty. I was just jogging. Took a 30 minute jog, but Henry wanted me to show some of the best pair they got, so. All right, this is the best one. How is that the best? I told you. It's dead stock, bro. You like that shoe. I personally just like You don't that. like these? It's not that I dislike it. Wait, I thought this come with um, cream laces. Right there. Oh. It's actually missing one of the cream laces, though. Why? Because he said, it was a story, he said he had a customer who bought it for his girl, and then she didn't like them and cut one of the laces. <laughs> cut the laces? So there's only one cream lace, but I would you all besides that? I would've broke up with a girl for decreasing the value of some shoes that I got her. Wow, okay. Well, anyways, dead stock, seven and a half women's. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of the coolest ones I got. I got a dead stock Marty McFly SB. I don't even know what those are. Size eight and a half. They look like barbershop dunks. Back, back to the future. They look like They're barbershop SBs. dunks. The barbershops are dunks though. These are SBs. So how much is these worth? Like what are you selling those for? Uh, I think they go for like five fifty. I don't know when I'm gonna put it out yet. A gray Somewhere dunk? In there. Yeah, they're they're old. I think they're from like 2015 or something. That's when I graduated high school. Yeah, they're from 2015 because what was what was the year in Back to the Future? I do not that they that they had to go back to. No, I mean that they went forward 1980. To. No, 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 it was 1985, but I'm saying, didn't they go to 2015? I, I, think they, I think that's why this came out. Comment down below if I'm right or wrong, but I might be wrong, but I think that's why these came out then. Uh, let's see, I also got a dead sock Off-White 5 somewhere. Um, this is a decent one. Got some Off-White Dunk Low Michigans. Shout out to Ronnie, shout out to Kaylin. Because they live in Michigan? Yeah. Okay. That's their favorite shoe. Are you going to shout out to the NFL Michigan team? Uh, shout out to NFL Michigans. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an SB4? Yes, sir. Did you get spanked on those? Uh, I paid four. What are you going to sell it for? Tax. Okay. <laughs> I just I get really good trades for these, so I'm just gonna put it high. I don't really want to sell it. I just want someone to trade. It's size ten. Right. Let's see what else. Smart man knows what he wants to do. Here's everybody's favorite shoe. Everyone's always looking for these. No way. Black cat fours. Bro, people act like that shoe is God himself. I know. It's like a thousand dollars dead stock. I paid like three something used. I mean, they're not bad. It's a wait, small size. wait, wait, wait. You bought it used? Yeah. So why does it have an eBay tag on it? They wore it with the eBay tag? I guess. Yo, you guys <laughs> People are People do anything, bro. Yo, what the heck? Take that uh, shit off. This is a good one. Travi pad. Size six and a half. Reverse mochas. Decent condition. Not bad. Good shoe. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Got some other good stuff. Got some fours. Let's see. What are these called? You got these out here. 
Like, oh my god, I love that shit. Those are the Kyler Murray dunks, guys. Kyle, Kyle Murray, right? Man, shout out to the Arizona Cardinals and Kyler Murray for beating the Philly Eagles. Yeah, these are dope. These went up, do you see? Yes. Well, so here's the problem with that. The ask is high, but highest bid is not really like equivalent. Yeah. So we, I paid like highest bid. That's fine. Could you pay like 200, right? 180. Right. For what size it is that? It goes for like 220. Uh, size 9. Decent size. Mm. What you gonna put it at? Like 250? Yeah, somewhere around there. Probably. Mm. So, yeah. So, guys, we're just filming this real quick because we're about to box all this stuff up. And ship it out, so we're just showing you some stuff before that happens. And Henry said he didn't record anything at SneakerCon, so... So this is how I get content. <laughs> I force my friends to film stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally all sweaty. I just went for a jog, but I'm like... He asked me to film something for him. I don't know how many times I've asked him to film something for me, so can't really say no. But, uh, yeah. Alright, and, um... Stay tuned for more stuff, guys. Alright, you guys. I'm back at the store now, and if you can see behind me... There's shoes on this wall, and there's shoes on that wall, and that is because I bought a sneaker collection. Yes. So this is 60 pairs of shoes, uh, 32 are pre-owned, 28 is brand new. They're all size 9.5 and, and 10. Majority is 9.5, but there's some really good stuff in here, guys. So at the filming of this video, I've only sold five pairs. So, and I'm dropping this video tomorrow, the day after I'm filming this. So definitely check out the site. Um, anything here that's gonna be on the site is gonna be priced higher due to website fees. So if you're looking for a better deal, just message me and if you can do Zelle, um, I can do a little bit better. Um, but let me show you some of the stuff I bought. I really was interested in buying this collection because it's stuff you don't see every day. And if you do see it, you'll probably see it used was super beat. Um, some of the stuff that is brand new is like, wow, I'm surprised it's never been worn. So, or at least was not tempted, you know? So, these are one of my favorite shoes. Jordan 6 Electric Greens. Um, it's nothing crazy, it's just simple looking, but I like that shoe and I know a lot of people do as well. Uh, what are these? These are Jordan 5 Lows. I forgot the exact name, but can't go wrong with this. Indigo 12s, Chicago 2s. I feel like these are. Oh my gosh. Look how the glitter on these just, just took over from just sitting in a box. Will it focus? Hopefully it focuses, guys, but just the glitter. It's literally all glittered out. Like, wow, just look at that. These are brand new, guys. Um, and this is a size 10. Majority is 9.5, but there are a few 10s. Actually, it looks kind of evened out. But this is pretty cool to see. All right, what else we got in this pile? Biohacks, special, the royal ones, the all royals, UNC fives there at the bottom, got some threes. Oh, these are the um, Jordan 3 Hall of Fames. I like to call them the Katrina. It got the Jumpman on the back, not Nike Air. And it does come with this uh, hang tag. But the thicker ones, not the orange plastic thin ones that they be given. Smells really good. So we got these brand new. This is one of one of my favorite um, Jordans of all time. It's very very similar to the Fire Red threes, but there are a few differences. If you if you know, you know. Um, we got a pair of brand new Concords from. Sixes, pine green threes, jubilees. Let's see. Let's see what these fours are. Oh yeah, guys, this one, this one, I was really excited to see. So we got a brand new pair of Columbia fours. Like, just look at this. 
pristine condition, still factory lays. It's like no, it has no stains on it. Like he didn't take it out the box to just mess around with it or anything. Still got the um, y'all know how they put those little wooden sticks in it to keep, you know. Man, this is this is fire. Um, that's why I was just happy to buy the collection. It, I think it would have been dope to film it because the guy who sold it to me got like a whole sneaker room. But due to privacy reasons and of course due to me not buying everything, he didn't want to film it just for his safety and no one knowing who he is and robbing his house basically. And I respect it. Um, what else do we have? Uh, the black infrared sixes. Size nine and a half. I believe this is the one with the, the jump man on the back. Yeah, this is the one with the jump man on the back, not the Nike Air. So those are brand new. Um, I see another Jordan 4 box. Which ones are these? Oh, these are the I'm having a brain fart. I'm having a brain fart. I'm having a brain fart. Come on, Henry, what are these called? I was literally just talking about these the other day. Oh, it's not coming to me, but y'all know what these are called. So I got these brand new if you're interested. Nine and a half. I thought the label would give me a hint, but nah. All right, so let's get into some of the pre-owned stuff. The pre-owned stuff is on this side. Uh, let me drag this down a little bit. Right. Is that a good view for you guys? Yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough. I'll just stack it on the top. All right, so these uh, fours right here, the the five lap fours, three lap fours, I forgot what they call it, but I really like these because when these came out, it just gave you, you know, the Kanye West Red October vibes. Um, and all, like buying these shoes is bringing so much nostalgia to me because like this is all the stuff that was coming out when I was in high school and that's when I had time to just look at this shoe, look at that shoe, look at that shoe, look at just just study shoes. It was fun, you know. I have a pair of the Jordan 14 Laney Lows. I didn't even know they made these until I bought this collection. So I don't, I don't, I don't know if it looks low on camera, but I do have a regular. Laney 14, so I can show y'all the difference. So here's the regular, and here's the lows. Let me zoom out. As you can see, it's, it's definitely a little height difference. So there's Laney 14 lows. So that was uh, that was uh, fun to find out for me. Um, and like I said, everything in this area is pre-owned. I'm gonna try to get most of this stuff on the site before this video drops, but obviously use shoes. You gotta take pictures and stuff and I'm literally about to close, so, you know. It'll be available in store, but on the site it might take two to three days after I drop this for everything to be on the site. Um, let me see what some of these, um, I don't even know what these are called, but they look like South Beach and we were just in Miami, so. The Jordan line, I'm gonna just say Jordan 9 Low South Beach. But that's what it is. That's what it is. It's not. Guys, did y'all realize that these pink 14s went up like crazy? Man, look it up. Those go up a lot. Um, we got Supreme Jordan 4s. Yep, the Jordan 4 Black Game Royals. Super, super clean. Let me show y'all. Most of the um, used stuff he said he only wore one time. Nothing here is beat at all. So he just had so many shoes, he didn't have time to wear everything. And then once he wore, he just wore it one time and then wanted to tr wear a different one another time. And it was just, I get it. I used, I'm a sneakerhead, you know. I know how it gets wearing shoes. Man, these shoes right here Laser Fours, my friend in high school didn't drive, but I did. So he literally paid me twenty dollars to go to DTLR to enter the raffle for him, and I won. And then 
I had to go pick it up on release day for him. But, you know, it's just funny that you can see a shoe and it's a whole story behind it because you had an experience in life with that shoe. So that's what this shoe reminds me of. My friend paid me 20 bucks to enter the raffle for him because he didn't drive and I did. Um, what else we got here? Oh, uh, um, I think this is a banger. Oh, yes, this is, this is one of my favorite shoes of all time. The Jordan 12 Taxis, not that royalty taxi BS that, that, that they just made. This is in great condition, nothing is falling apart, no cracking or anything. Um, yeah, Jordan 12 Taxis, worn once. The box is in pristine condition. Um, what else do we have here? I believe these are, no, nah, these are used. The Baron 11 Lowe's. All right, so there's nothing special to show, but I think, I know I bought a pair of flu games. Is that what these are? Yep. Guys, I got a pair of Flu Game 12s, worn ones. So, it's telling me that this clip has been over 10 minutes. So, I'm going to stop filming this. Um, guys, I bought a size 9.5 and, and 10 collection. I think I bought some really, really good shoes. So, definitely check out the site. Um, if you're looking for a better deal or interested in trading, just message me. We can work something out. Um, all of this is first come, first serve. So, sometimes I pass on trades because you might live in... Spokane, Washington, and by the time you ship me those shoes, somebody else could have bought it for twenty dollars less, and I ain't trying to, you know, be waiting for a trade that then I gotta take in your shoes and try to sell it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so all this is available right now at the Loop Store, twenty eight ninety nine White Ford Road, York, Pennsylvania. I'm on the second floor next to Auntie Anne's, which is like I'm the first store right after the food court, and um. Yeah, thank you guys for watching today's video. Shout out to all my guys, Z, Cam, Viper, Chuck. We went to SneakCon, it was fun, it was a vibe. It was more fun than York, PA. Like, today I've probably had 10 people in all day. And I know it's raining, it's super cold outside and it's raining. It's raining really hard, but, you know, just being back in York after being in Miami, it's just like, huh? It's about that time I get up out of here, and I know my time here is almost over, but being on vacation just reminds you that again. So, appreciate each and every single you guys for watching. Um, I guess the next video would be me unboxing a lot of the stuff I got from Miami. So, come shop. Peace. I'm Sneakerhead. Bro, you is somebody, bro. Because cause we here, we alive, we taking breaths, man. We out here. You're the one on TV. Hey, you, this is the TV. You got the TV. This is the TV. This is the platform, man. You the currency. You the energy. We the culture, bro. What we see on TV is just a micro form. We are the culture.